told is the story of Alexei Ivanovich Danilov, a captain in the Russian army at the time of Napoleon's invasion of 1812. Alexei and three of his comrades are tasked with trying to hinder the French in their advance across Russia. Um, and to help them doing this, um, they hire a band of 12 Wallachian mercenaries who they nicknamed the Prishniki. Um, and it turns out that uh, not only are the Prishniki frighteningly good at uh, killing the French, but they also seem rather good and rather eager um, at killing Russians as well. Um, and it's when Alexei realises this, and in fact uncovers the true nature of the Prishniki, um, that he decides that it's probably um, better for him and for the whole of Russia if he pursues them rather than the French. It's very easy to uh, get the impression that Dracula, for example, is a historical novel, uh, which clearly from today's point of view it is. But when it was written, it was written very much in a contemporary setting. And so those modern filmmakers and authors who are writing uh, contemporary vampire stories today um, are in some sense really being true to what Bram Stoker began. But on the other hand, I think that because of Dracula, um, and because of things like the Hammer films that I've brought up on, uh, many people nowadays really feel very comfortable with uh, the idea of vampires in a historical setting. And part of the reason for that is uh, because it, it makes us feel a little bit safer about them, in the sense that um, we, we get the idea that they could have existed in the past, even though they don't exist nowadays. And so we can accept um, vampires in much the same sense as maybe we accept dinosaurs, even though we never encounter one, that doesn't mean uh, there never were such things. Twelve is uh, the first in a series of five novels known as the Danilov Quintet. Uh, Twelve itself is obviously set in 1812. The second book, 13 years later, which I'm currently working on, um, is set in 1825, during the lead-up to the Decembrist Revolt. After that will be a story during the Crimean War and another one during the Russo-Turkish War, and the whole thing will culminate um, in 1917 uh, with the First World War and the lead-up to the Russian Revolution. So it seems to me that the Napoleonic Wars uh, were in many ways the foundation of uh, a vast set of historical events that took place throughout uh, the 19th century. And since the invasion of Russia was clearly the turning point in those wars, uh, it's always been appealing to me to write a story about that. Um, beyond that though, um, in Russia specifically, the, the campaign of 1812 um, set off a sequence of events that can be seen as culminating in the Russian Revolution itself. And so to write the whole series in the quintet as one that spanned that whole period, beginning in 1812 and ending in 1917, uh, really was quite intriguing. Of the characters in 12, there's only one of them that makes it all the way through to the final uh, novel in 1917, um, which, as you can work out, is 105 years later. And so, uh, clearly, uh, they're not a human, um, but since we're dealing with the undead, um, that's not too much of a problem. As to the character is, uh, well, I do know who it is, uh, and I'm not going to tell you.